with American Force Wheels. Today we're going to be going over how to properly polish and maintain your wheels using the American Force Polish. We're going to be working with this 22 by 14 Legend SS8 and this 20 by 14 Independence SS8. Um, this wheel is in fairly good condition but it does have a lot of surface scratching and a little bit of a haziness to it. The other wheel on the other hand, that's a fairly new wheel. Um, that one we're just going to be kind of doing like a quick once over just to kind of show you how to maintain something that's, you know, in pretty good condition. So what I always like to start off doing is just kind of take a look at the wheel, assess the condition of it, um, kind of, you know, make sure there's no debris on it, no dirt. So take a little bit of detail spray. Always make sure you shake it up really good. A little bit of a squirts on there. Always very gently, gently wipe it off. Make sure the microfiber you're using is nice and soft and doesn't have anything on it whatsoever. And always wipe in the direction that the wheel was machined, meaning you do not want to go against the grain. Flip it over to the dry side. And same thing with the spokes. Basically, you always want to picture you're in a nice giant circle. So now that the wheel's clean, you know it's debris free, everything looks good to go. Now is when we move on to the polish. A nice brand new bottle. Always want to make sure you shake it up very, very well. So you want to apply about the size of a dime to a quarter dot of polish here, kind of work it in the rag a little bit. Close it up. Once again, you want to go in nice straight lines back and forth maintaining the direction that the wheel was cut and polished from the start. You do not want to go against the grain. So what we're going to do is just kind of, you know, work in it just a little bit. You can do dots or lines, very nice and gentle, just to kind of spread the polish around a little bit. Now, very nice and easy, back and forth. You can go around it two, three times, you know, Keep working that polish in. Once you see it start to turn black and start pulling some of the dirt out of it. As you can see here, all the dirt that came out of the aluminum. So now we're gonna move on to a clean spot on the rag here to do the spokes. Once again, you know, for the spokes, I usually like to use about the size of a dime, kind of work it in. You don't wanna make a huge mess. Now spokes can get a little tricky. A lot of people think you go back and forth in the spokes Incorrect. When these wheels are cut and machined, it is basically in a giant circle. It's just like how we did the barrel of the wheel. So what we're gonna do is basically just put one nice light little dot on each spoke. Now very nice and easy back and forth on the spokes. Do not wanna push hard at all. I usually let the polish dry on the wheel for about one to two minutes. You can leave it on one minute, 10 minutes, an hour, it's not really gonna hurt it being on there as long as it's not out in direct sunlight getting baked onto the wheel. So what we're gonna do, check the rag, make sure you don't have you know any dirt or debris on it. Once again, that is extremely important. So now it's kind of dry, we're gonna take the dry side of the rag, kind of wipe over it. You can kind of start to see that shine come back out of it. You can really start to see all of those little tiny fine surface scratches really just start to disappear. So what we're going to do now is basically just repeat the steps that we just went through. Same thing, shake up the polish well. Put about the size of a dime to a quarter on there. And just nice little dots or lines or however you want to kind of spread it around, make it a little bit more even. And nice and gently back and forth and really start to see that shine come up through the polish. So now that the polish is dry, kind of got a nice little white haze on there. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to take that dry side of the rag here again. Make sure it's nice and clean, no dirt or debris on there. And simply nice and gently wipe the polish off of it. You see all those little surface scratches really start to disappear. Nice and gentle. Now, like I did before, we're going to shake up the polish very well. It's extremely important. Just like the other way, about the size of a dime, two quarter dot of polish, kind of working into the rag. A couple light water spots here, you can watch those come right out with ease. So even for that wheel being 
nice brand new looking wheel still had a lot of dirt and stuff in there so now just like the other wheel you know about the size of a dime for the spokes kind of work it in there and this and then very gently just kind of dab it around a little bit and just kind of let that rag just glide across there don't have to put a whole bunch of pressure into it at all now that it's kind of dried make sure it's nice clean and clear and wipe over it and really see that nice fresh out of the box shine really come back out of the wheel and there you go guys all right guys and that's a wrap just want to say thank you to everybody for watching and tuning in the polish is available on our website www.americanforcewheels.com we also have a lot of other goodies on there and we also sell the microfibers too uh, that we use today in the video so all right guys thanks for watching <laughs>